We've had, a, a, had some good success in the vehicles. We've um, caught some chub and good numbers of perch. And it's slowed up a bit in the sunshine. And we've just escaped the noise. I think it, you don't really notice it until it just becomes this incessant white noise of water crashing over the weir sill. And it's quite nice to just come to this backwater and, and change the tactics a bit. I've got a... I'm trotting a float which is well shotted. The water's very shallow. But along this line of alders there's all these this root mass along the far bank. Surely there's got to be a chub along here. And this is actually uh, where the River Inborn meets the Kennet. And just behind me there's, there's a side stream that comes off the Kennet and it it's, meets the Inborn about 200, 200 yards behind me. And the Inborn's another river that has changed so much. Um, reading John Berry's book, Can of Worms, about the history of barbel fishing and the Enborn was fish from the Enborn were used to barbel from the Enborn were used to stop all sorts of other rivers. They were taken out in their thousands. There's not many barbel in the Enborn now. There's not many in the Kennet either. Quite nice to get in the sunshine and warm up a bit. Done a lot of wading today and it's cold. <laughs> but uh, I've come up to the canalised bit of river where hopefully 
I might find a perch. There's good numbers of roach in this bit and um, bream, as well as old barbel and chub, but perch have always been quite a good target. And again, it's, it's such a different piece of water. I mean, the weir, which I can hear away in the background, is, is the top weir, the little weir, where I've had some good success on this visit. I've got a couple of nice chub, bigger one about four pound, and a lovely perch, which is just a stunning fish. Really, really nice fish. Fought so hard, and it just looks superb. And then you can come and fish in the edge and the canalised bit in five foot of water off right under my feet and maybe catch a different perch doing something very different. And it's one of the nice things I think and, and the enduring qualities of this place is the fact that even though the Kennet is not the river it was and it probably never will be again but there's still fish to be caught and there's still some you know, you work hard, and I've, I have worked hard for fish, but it's so nice to be fishing running water, and just to meet, and just to enjoy the variety that that's here. And part of the reason why a lot of why fish might not be being caught is because there's no one fishing it. So I'm going to sneak down and have a go for a barbel later because I think I might just get one. It's often said that you shouldn't go back, you shouldn't return to the scenes of past glories and just let things instead slip into, into memory and keep the memory. And the only reason I haven't been here for so long is, is geographical because we moved 100 miles west and it's just not feasible. But it's been, it's certainly not been a regret to come back, far from it. It's been a joy to fish this bit of river again. It's given up a few, few prizes which have been very well received. And it's hard, fishing's hard, but the rewards are there. just I've loved it I've really enjoyed it